hi guys welcome back to another video today it's osereme here and if you're here for the first time please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when i post a new video in this video today we're going to be cutting learning how to cut a, an exaggerated sleeve puff sleeve balloon sleeve whatever it is you call it so i'm going to be using this piece of paper i have here and if, as you can see i already have my the top part of my dress and what i'm going to do is to just measure out the armhole so that um, i have the measurement of the armhole that i'm going to use to cut out the sleeve so right here i have 18 inches and half of that is actually nine inches this side here is going to serve as our center of the sleeve so i just went ahead to mark a straight line at the top to just have like a template to serve as a template and after that i decided to mark the nine inches that i got after dividing my armhole i marked it here and from there you're going to go down by five inches and mark it and after that you just make a curve you can decide to do this with your free hand as you see me doing like this but you can see how mine was actually very rugged but well, i think it's best to use a french curve if you have any but if you don't you can definitely still do it the way i just did after doing this the next thing you're going to do is to determine the length of the sleeve and for this you're going to take your measurement from this point down to the length you want it to be it could be six inches it could be seven eight nine ten thirteen fourteen whatever you honestly want it to be here or even longer it's all fine so i initially marked 13 but decided to uh, make it longer so i ended up marking 15 inches and after that you're going to divide the measurement around your armhole and half of that for me was about seven inches plus stitching allowance obviously and then i joined the lines together like this after that i just also um joined the end of the sleeve like this so this is my sleeve it's ready what i'm just going to do is just basically to cut it all the way around so if you're making a balloon sleeve one thing i'll advise is to add a stitching allowance like enough allowance to the length if you're going to be using an elastic band for this but for this particular one i'm going to be adding an extra band of about two inches so that's why i did add extra inches for um, stitching so after that as you see me doing like this i measured out the end of my sleeve and i divided that measurement that i have there by four because i'm going to i'm trying to do the slash and sp spread and slash method something like that and that measurement i had when i divided it by four i'm just marking it all the way around so it's the same measurement around so i'm just going to make straight lines so that this measurement i have gets all the way to the top of the sleeve so guys after i finished marking it i decided to cut it just uh, all the way to the end of the sleeve but i didn't cut it entirely so i left about quarter of an of half an inch something if there's anything like that so i just left very little space at the top just so that it doesn't cut fully because i don't want to make pleats at the top i only want to make pleats at the end of this um sleeve so it's going to be like a balloon sleeve so there will be no pleat at the top so if you want pleats to be at the top cut it all the way to the end and you're going to spread it evenly like spread all the different pieces evenly probably i will do something like that in, in, in another video but this particular one is for um just making pleats at the end so the center part of this clothes as i've arranged it down i placed the center of our sleeve as you see me doing like this so this is how you will place your sleeve now you're going to spread it you see that the armhole is going to remain the same the thing that is going to be different is going to be the um under part of the sleeve so you're going to spread it how you want it to be i'm not just going to spread it anyhow you're going to actually measure it out so i decided to let the difference between each um paper each pa paper to be uh four inches for this particular um 
sleeve depends on how wide you want it to be so if you make it five inches it means that it's going to be very wide if you make it two inches um one inch it just depends on how wide you want your sleeve to be this is a this ended up being a very very puffy sleeve it was very wide um it was very big so the distance between each was just four inches so when you mark the four inches point you shift the other paper to it and i'm just using my tape to tape it down if you don't have tape you can definitely use a pin to hold this in place so i'm marking another four inch difference again and i'm just going to mark it put the paper right there and tape it down again so i'm just going to do this until i am through with all the different arms of the sleeve So guys it's going to look something like this when you're done and the top is definitely going to remain the same measurement as it was when you made uh, when you cut it out earlier nothing is going to change the only thing that is changing is the um other parts that's the down part of the sleeve so i just decided to trace it all the way around using my ruler just joining all the curves together using my chalk actually sorry and after that, I'm just going to use my scissors and just cut it all the way around. So guys, when you're tree cutting, it's going to look something like this. So when you have the elastic or band on that here, it's going to kind of have this kind of effect. So for these, I already told you guys earlier that I'm going to be making use of a band. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate the sleeves right now. And I went ahead to make two lines because I want to make gathers at the end of this uh, sleeve. So after making my two lines without back stitching, leaving some space at the end, if you want to know how to make gathers, I have a whole video that is just dedicated to making gathers already on the channel. So that's why I'm not showing this very detailed. So after that, I just went ahead to make my gathers on the sleeve by pulling on the top threads. So after doing that, this is what it looks like. This is what, what part of the sleeve is looking like right now. I'm going to do the exact same thing um, for the other sleeve as well. So if you open it up, you see that it had the gather effect at the end and the top of it is just exactly the same thing. After I was done for, with the both sleeves, it came out like this. So you know if you're going to put an elastic here, you're just going to create your elastic casing by just folding it up at the end there and then placing your elastic through it. So now after this, you know um, this is where I'm going to place the sleeve right here on the armhole. But before that, I am going to attach the band to the end of this place here. And you know I already measured up around my arm and it is um, 10 inches plus 2 inches stitching allowance that is 12 inches. So I am... I've already folded this um, band into two and I add, added gum stain in the middle just to give it some strength. So what I'm going to do is to check if this part of the sleeve that I have here that I've gathered is up to 12 inches which exactly it is right now. And I'm going to use that 12 inches to cut out my band. So after cutting out my band, this is what it looks like. We're just going to stitch it to the end of the sleeve. So to do this, you're going to first stitch it on one side like this. And after doing that, um, this is what I had. After stitching it on one side, this is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is to flip it over to the other side and I'm going to fold it in again by first folding it up by half an inch like this and then I'm going to fold it up again and then I'm going to stitch on it like make a stitch 
on top of it all the way to the end ensure that this stitch is very neat because it's going to actually show in front so after i was done with that this is what it looks like very neat and clean now because i made gathers um two um stitching for gathers so you see that at the top of my band there's like a straight stitch of gathering showing it's very easy all you have to do is to just loosen it up so i'm just using my needle in place of a seam ripper to just loosen it up it's actually a very easy thing to do so when you do it it's like it's so easy this is the thread that came out and now my sleeve is totally ready this is how it looks like after i've loosened um that stitch that was that other stitch that was holding it so this is what it's going to look like and i'm just going to do the same thing now for the other sleeve as well next thing i went ahead to do was to just attach it to my um, armhole so this is what it looks like after i was done with one part of it and it's really cute so i just repeated the same process um for the other sleeve and this is just how it came out very easy like it's very easy to join together after that i just turned, flipped this over to the right side went over to the sewing machine using the stitching allowance i left earlier and i just went ahead to join the sides of the dress and this is the final look this is how it looks after i was done with everything you see the balloon effect is showing here and it's actually very beautiful i really liked how um this came out so i'm not sure with this dress is actually a dress so that's why i am stopping this video here so thank you so much for watching the video today i hope that you actually find it helpful and please help me share like and comment uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section and if you are not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell i will see you guys in the next one bye